Danny with Revolution Machine Tools. Today, I want to tell you about our C-Smart Series Machines. It's a hydraulic swing beam power shear. This model right here is a 10 250 or 10 foot quarter inch shear. A couple of our standard features on our machines, sheet support, squaring arm at 40 inches long, ball transfers on the table, 40 inch ball screw back gauge, light curtains on the back. A couple optional features is a 10 foot squaring arm, which is shown on this bottle here, and the light curtain for your finger guards. A couple other just standard features though, is on our blades, four flips on the bottom, two flips on the top. The ball screw is four thousandths accurate. The controller we have here is the Dellum DAC360X, which is very user-friendly, easy to program. You have automatic, manual, and semi-automatic modes. Let me uh, go ahead and show you a little bit how to program this controller, and then we'll do a sample cut on some quarter-inch material. So right now I'm in uh, manual mode. Go up, select my material, and I, the material, one is carbon steel, two is your aluminums, three is when you get into softer aluminums, and four is when you get into your stainless and things like that, but always uh, do reference with your technician before you find out and just start cutting. Material thickness, like I said, we're gonna do quarter inch, but it's very easy to change. Uh, you can go 0 0.03, we're going to leave that at quarter inch. Then I have my adjustment on X axis back gauge. So if I was off a little bit, I can make a quick adjustment there. That is how deep my stroke will go. So I'm going to cut a piece of material that's 31 inches long. I have my where I'm going to be cutting on my square or on my square to my shear, and I'm going to cut at zero inches, but you, if you didn't want to cut at the same position all the time, and then my batch cutting. If I wanted to do 10 cuts of the same, I could go in and put 10. If I want to do one cut, one cut, and it'll count it. If I leave zero, then what it's going to do is count up the number of cuts I'm doing. Then I have my x-axis. On my back gauge position, we're going to go ahead and do a two inch cut. Then retract is going to be a half inch. My back gauge speed, if I wanted to park my back gauge, and then it automatically calculates my blade gap for me. Then what I'm going to do is go ahead and start the machine up. is coming up. You can see it's very open because I do have that light curtain in there. Two inches. My hold downs will come. Make my cut. You can see as I reached in it shut down. Those light curtains work very amazing and very safe. So now I got some aluminum in the machine. We're going to go ahead and go into um, our auto. We're going to select job two, enter. Now go back to my auto programming. I have job two. My material is aluminum, it's eighth inch. My retract correction, I don't need any. I'm gonna be cutting at zero on uh, my shear, so it's all using my square. And then uh, retract, I do have that set a little bit higher so that I can actually see it retract, and then the number of cuts. 
It will do two inch, 19 inches long, cycle count two. Next cut will be three and a half inches, cycle count one. Third cut will be seven inch, cycle count one. I'm gonna go ahead and power the machine up and do these cuts. That's our C Smart A10250. Thanks for watching. Check more of us out at rmtus.com or Revolution Machine Tools on our YouTube channel. We'd love to put some of these in your shop and we'll be talking to you soon.